Gary Lineker threatened another Twitter spat just hours after returning to presenting duties on the BBC. The presenter, 62, was back on our screens for Manchester City's clash against Burnley in the FA Cup quarter-finals alongside Micah Richards and Alan Shearer. But shortly after his return, the former England striker couldn't help but make his opinion known on social media once again, this time regarding his former club Tottenham Hotspur rather than politics. And he called out Lord Alan Sugar for his thoughts on the club. Lord Sugar had commented on Twitter regarding Antonio Conte called Spurs players selfish. He called the post-match speech an indication the manager is ready to resign from his role. But the apprentice star dived deeper into his opinion when a follower asked who he blamed for the same issues consistently happening at the club. Lord Sugar replied, problem with Spurs even under my chairmanship is the mood slash culture of the players. They don't play as a team with camaraderie or passion. All they do is moan we need more players. I recall saying to a player, more players do you mean you are no good should we replace you? However, Lineker wasn't in agreement and simply quote tweeted the business mogul with a one word response, nonsense. The usually outspoken Lord Sugar was yet to respond to Lineker's comment. Hours earlier Lineker had made his eagerly awaited return to presenting duties for the BBC's football coverage. He opened the show and introduced former Newcastle United striker Alan Shearer to viewers. But his co-panelist quickly called out the elephant in the room, saying before he discussed any footballing matters, I just need to clear up and wanted to say how upset we were for the audience that missed out last weekend. It was a really difficult situation for everyone concerned and through no fault of their own some really great people in TV and radio were put in an impossible situation and that wasn't fair so it's good to get back to some sort of normality and be talking about football again. Lineker added, absolutely, I echo those sentiments. The comments came a week after Lineker was removed from BBC's coverage of Mott after he refused to say sorry for a tweet in which he compared language around the government's small boats program to that used in Nazi Germany in the 1930s. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Melting